Hi everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my craft room. Uh, today I'm going to make these cute little pockets out of book pages for your journals. Um, super easy, super fun. Here's the one that I made. And you can put, you know, a little note in there or anything you want. And then here's the other one. It has some little butterflies on it. I think they're so cute. They're so easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with a book page. Um, I have one right here to the side of me. And I'm going to kind of just um, make a cone out of it. They remind me of um, what you would use to wrap flowers. Now they, the shape all comes out different depending on how you fold it. So this is look, very different on the top than these two. <clears throat> and then you can leave it like that, but I folded up the back onto the back and glued. Now I was inspired on a Facebook um, junk journaling group by, I believe her name was Teresa Crawford. So I wanna give a shout out to her for this idea. I'm sure it's been done before, but kind of new to me. Now, this one has a big, well, you know what? The glue didn't take real well, but I think I did get it. I was going to say I could have another pocket right here, but I think I got too much glue on it. But that's okay. You know, the ideas are endless. I'm just showing you the basic how I did this. All right, then I'm going to take a stencil different one than I used on the others and come on this is more a daisy floral one now I did pink on this one and I did um a brown on this one so let's do a different color let me really go out on the edge here <laughs> And let me see what colors I have. I have a lot of Tim Holtz colors, but um, let's do maybe a purple. Orchid Oasis. Is that open? And I have right here. I don't even know what I was using this for. If it's out. Um, or just gray. Oh, I know what I was using. It was a, uh, uh, what are they called? Paper Pumpkin Project. And it came with one of these and I um, had one open, so I use that one. Let me use Gorgeous Grape and I do have a blender in that color. Something very different for me in the color, journaling color world. Now you could decorate the backs, but my intention is to glue that into the journal and have the pocket, but you could also paper clip it in and, and you know, would want to decorate the back, I guess. How is everybody today? I'm excited. I'm going to a uh, antique show. It's about 40 minutes away. It's at a place called Wheaton Village, which is a glass, like glass blowing place. But it's all inside. Um, and somebody's meeting me there one of the dealers with a bunch of ideal magazines anybody remember them from being a kid all right that's that one it's funny because you can't really see the pattern so much on this i don't know if i'm just not hitting everything well but it's okay i got the a pattern and that's all i'm after really but anyhow yes yeah, so she's meeting me with a bunch of ideal magazines because i went to an antique store not too far from here and I bought one, a Valentine, and that was a Christmas one. And um, I said, you know, are there any more in the store? And the lady was like, there are definitely more in the store. But they didn't know where they were. But they took my name and phone number, and apparently they make a wish list. And it's shared with other um, dealers. And this woman has been calling me a couple times about them. She says she has 35. Now, she's not bringing them all today. I, cause they're heavy and she, you know, of course she has a booth, but, um, I said, you know, bring, if you have like Easter or spring or summer, 
Um, I said I'd love to get another Christmas one. I only have a Christmas one and a Valentine one. I said, but it's going to sit here the Christmas for the next, you know, so many months. And I'd rather have something that I can use. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. And then a friend of mine, I thought about doing a video. I met a friend of mine yesterday, um, a high school friend. Or actually, we go back to middle school. And uh, she brought me a whole bag of, like, vintage ephemera. And I thought about doing a kind of show and tell video because there's some really cool stuff. I just peeked when I was with her and she's like, I don't know if this is the kind of stuff you want. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I was like, this is definitely the kind of stuff I want. So I didn't um, look through it last night because the lighting in my house is bad in the evening. And uh, I have to solve that back here in my craft room because I would, I would craft more when the sun goes down, if I have good lighting back here, but I don't. I depend on the light from the outside and my overhead light. Um, so what am I gonna do with this one? Um, yeah, so I'm excited about that, and I'm excited about, this would be cute on another one. That would have been really cute on there. Just get a corner of it. I'll make another one. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about those things. I'm just trying to grab a few things I have nearby. It's kind of how I've been crafting lately. Whatever's near me is what gets used. But I have my box from my junk journal January next to me, and this is one of the things in there. I was hoping there was maybe a purplish bird. Maybe this guy wouldn't be too bad. Yeah. So there's so many things you could do with this. Um, I think I'm gonna kind of. My are my scissors out in the living room? I was fussy cutting some things at TV. Now I brought them back in here. I thought I left them out there there were some things I wanted to fussy cut and, you know, kind of watching TV is a good time to do it. Again, lighting not great, but I managed. I think I want him down, but I don't have to cut the whole thing. I was thinking about just kind of putting them on there and then cutting where this is. Let me see, let me do a little more of him. So yeah, that's what's going on today. And tomorrow I have a brunch with my daughter for her birthday that kept getting postponed. Um, last weekend because of the snow and the weekend before I had a funeral she has a second job, so on the weekends, she's a hostess at a restaurant in Philly. I think that's good enough as far as, yeah, and I think he will sit pretty well on that. I just want to um, get some of that weight off. Uh, doo -doo -doo, what am I looking for? My... So I have my new mat down, so when I'm doing things like gluing <laughs> and definitely stenciling, I want to put a protective layer because I want this mat to last as long as possible. Because it's pretty nice. All right, so I think I'm going to put him in here like this. And I don't think I'm cutting him off any. Let me see, it's about right here. No, that'll work. Now, I could just wrap this around, and I might. Why not? If I'm going to glue this into a journal, it doesn't really matter what's on the back. So here's my bird. Now, he looks a little funny because <laughs> it looks like he has a haircut, weird haircut because of the um, stenciling behind him. But he's kind of cute. And then what do I want to do up here? There is a little butterfly that goes with him. 
Maybe I'll cut him out. So yeah, I had a um, medical procedure done on Wednesday. Kind of threw me for a loop coming out of the anesthesia and all. I mean, I came out fine, but um, Thursday I still felt really kind of ill and tired. And yesterday I met my friend for lunch or brunch and um, I was with her probably an hour and a half and then I ran to the grocery store just to pick up literally two things. And I came home, I was so tired. So I went to bed early again last night. So I hope every day, obviously every day, you're gonna feel a little better. All right, I don't know, he's a little um, frigid. I feel like I need to round his little wing here. All right, so he's gonna go up here. Yeah, right over here. Oh, I think up in, up in here would be good. Again, I wanna cover his, his, uh, the white parts with some ink. I've been feeling like the lace needs something on it. What do I have near me? Mm. That's where I pulled this little flower from I had made a while ago. Just in a tray near me. Um, what's this? Oh, it's another butterfly. I guess I could have put one on there. Hmm. <laughs> don't think I have any real little flowers or florals to go here, but what I have, let me see. I have all this, this whole box of Stampin' Up, that's where I pulled this out of, um, kind of gems and bling. Let me, uh, see what I might want. Just a gem or something in the middle. Maybe one of these. I'm not going to dig far. I'm not going to be too picky for these. Let's just pull those top ones out and see what I have. Yeah. I have so many. I used to um, be a hobbyist with this company. I've never mentioned that before. But then when I, you know, I started getting more into the vintage and the junk journal, and they just really don't have that kind of stuff, although maybe they do now, I don't know. Um, but the thing is, when I started doing uh, YouTube, they want you to be loyal to them. And no, I like a lot of other papers, I like a lot of um, other things, and I wasn't willing to do that. So I stopped um, being a consultant. Like I was, like I said, just a hobbyist. I never tried to sell it. Um, that's bright enough, but I think I want it kind of dull. Now it's almost like the purple in the back doesn't exist. Maybe, let me see, can I get that up? But I have a lot of their things and I love their cardstock. Love, love, love. I haven't looked at a catalog in a long time. Um, no, I kind of like the green, even though it, maybe this coppery color. I still, like I mentioned, I get paper pumpkin and, you know, I skip months. But I liked last month's, which was lavender. That's kind of cute. So that's that one. You can see it. That's kind of cute. I like that one. So I have three. I'm going to make one more because I want to do uh, this. And my video is still reasonable. All right. I think I'm going to pull another page from this French dictionary that I just got at a Goodwill the other day. So excited to find it because when I do French journals, <laughs> I have French pages. Let me put that on 
the floor right now. All right, let's fold this one up. Maybe I'll hide the little notch and go this way. Wait a minute. My brain can't go the opposite way. I have to go this way. Well, I'm gonna get the notch down there, but I don't think it's gonna matter. All right, what I what it did was it put the little the little top part on the other side, which is kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna fold this up and glue it. They remind me, I don't know if I said this already, of the little um, wraps you would put around flowers. So, if you had die cuts of flowers, you would maybe put them out the top and uh, it would just be a pretty decoration in a journal. I was thinking more pocket for, um, for it. Let me go back to one of these. This one already has pink on it, so I think I'm just going to use this one and put it like that. And I know I have a pink. Yeah, I do. I have one of these little finger dabby things. Now I could just run, you know, something down the middle or whatever I want to do with the stencil, but I like this on the other one that I made. Yeah, I like that pattern a lot. Turned out pretty. And let me uh, kind of put this down the bottom. Like, like such, and cut it. So that it fits. Yeah, that's gonna look cool. All right, I think I'm gonna use glue stick. Oops. goes down the bottom and up the side. It's kind of pretty. And let me see what I want to use. I love this ribbon here. Now I just want to put some ribbon up top. Um, hmm. I have an idea. I can find something pink. Always my problem. Just finding the color. This is pink. Oh, it's kind of a purple pink. That's more purple. Um, this is pink. Ugh, it's like coming out of its <laughs> you should see the long. That's kind of pretty. I wonder. I don't see why I can't tie a bow. This would be cute in like one of the um, love journals that I'm in the middle of. I would love to say I finished them, but I find um, junk journal January a little consuming. And then I made I'll show you real quick. This oh, is it right here. Yeah, this little book, um, the Angela Kerr freebie. So it's got these cute little photo, uh, pictures in there. Look at these. There's two on that side. Yeah, so super cute. Made that the other day. Want to make more. And send them to a couple friends. 
around Valentine's. Oh, how cute. Now this definitely looks like a little floral holder. I don't even know that I want to do anything else to it other than put a little drop of glue here. I could um, have used a glue dot. Let's see. Close that up. I think it's cute the way it is. I mean, I could put something over here like the opposite. See how it's fanning out there. I could put this in here. Let me cut it down and then I can see if I want that like that. It would go kind of like this. I'm not gonna glue it until I see if I like it. I'm afraid to get too close to the bow and rip that off. <laughs> At this point, I don't want to do that. What did I do here? How's this going? Like this. And it could stick up there on the top. It's kind of cute. Why not? Sometimes less is more, and I think this little less is more. And then, uh, let's see, I think I have one really nearby. Move that over to the edge. See how it just kind of sticks up to the top? And then, let me um, pull something here. I have these little heart oilies. from uh, Recollections. These are from Michael's. And you could stick some... Oh, I like that. I think I'm even going to glue that down and you could still use it as a uh, a doily. I mean, a, tuck, a pocket or a tuck spot in a journal. How cute is that? I don't even know if you can tell it's a heart. Let's glue that down. Yeah, so I just wanted to show you the construction and then you can do uh, whatever it is you want to do with it. Oh, I think that's cute. Should I go down a little further? I think it should. Like I said, you might not be able to tell so much as a heart, but that's really cute. And it's still the pocket. So you can still stick something else in it. But yeah, that'll look so cute in one of my little love journals. How sweet. So let me know what you think. Um, questions, comments, always appreciated. Likes helps the video go out into YouTube world. And uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. Hey, have a great day, everybody.